I've got some incredible, profound news today. Just recently, I have found my other flip cam, the one I lost near that honeymoon period of ours in Renor Lodge. Well, we got it back. Now I got two. Watch out. It's double trouble now. Angela thinks I'm the Tasmanian <laughs> devil. <laughs> oh, not call him the Tasmanian devil. Why do you think I'm the Tasmanian devil? <laughs> Mr. Monica has a little bit of a tendency to get things a little bit dirty sometimes, or lose things, or break things. <laughs> He's a little bit like the Tasmanian devil sometimes, but not that. I'm not the Timothy Media Devil! And I don't destroy and break everything that walks in my path. <laughs> Most of the time. We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show, and today is Monday, August 17th. And we are on the road right now, on the way to Vegas. We're just in Boulder, Colorado. What an awesome time that was. And uh, Angela was driving earlier, and she absolutely loved the view, stating it was the best scenery she's ever seen in her entire life, from Colorado to Utah. Yeah, I think Colorado is the prettiest state that we've driven through on all our travels so far as far as I'm concerned and we were coming through this one area today that it seems to be called the White River National Park it was stunning I was literally moved to tears three times driving through there today I just felt so incredibly humbled and awe inspired by the natural beauty there I would like go and google that in google images check out some of the images from that place it was stunningly River and the trees and the mountains, the cliffs, it was incredible. And then there was a sign when we left Colorado saying, Leaving Colorful Colorado. And now we're in desert. So, yeah, um, there are a couple questions people had recently. And um, one of them was a few people asked about Daniel Vitalis. He had tattoos all over his arms and people were wondering what that was all about or was it tattoos or what was going on there well I had the privilege of asking Daniel this very question and you can check that out right now right here I have one more question we got a lot of questions um, from the video today actually everybody wanted to know about your arms <laughs> cool so my arms are tattooed um, with mineral pigments a lot of people think of tattoos as dyes or inks, but they're actually mineral pigments. And my reasoning is basically that I'm very connected to indigenous culture. And what we find throughout history is a lot of tattooing in indigenous cultures, particularly in the tribal cultures. So interestingly, in American culture, if you have a tattoo, it's like you're a rebel. In indigenous culture, if you don't get tattooed, that's rebellion. That's an interesting thing. Now, the further we go back in history, the more of this we actually see. In fact, the oldest intact body ever discovered was in Peru, uh, in the highlands of the Andes, a frozen body with the skin intact. And what we found there on that man was black tattoos and two different types of medicinal mushrooms, interestingly. I'm very connected to that um, consciousness. And so tattoo for me has been a path for a long time. I have an amazing tattoo artist named Jennifer in Portland, Maine, at Sanctuary Tattoo, and she's a raw foodist. And I met her at a David Wolf event. And she's been tattooing me for years in an ongoing project. We've been covering my arms and layering colors into my arms. She's tattooed me with traditional pigments, but also with untraditional things. We've tattooed me with nettle chlorophyll, with ormus gold and platinum and silver, with flower essences, with chants, with prayers, with humming. And for me, tattoo for many years has been, it's like my church. It's where I go to celebrate the spiritual and to commune. And um, it's a warrior tradition. So it's interesting, not something that's for everybody, and, uh, but it's definitely been for me, and it's been a guiding light for me and a guiding principle for a lot of years. And so I'm sort of a collector of mineral pigment in my arms. Whoa. So how far does that go up in your arm? It goes all the way up onto my chest, 
Wow. Back of my neck. Wow. And it's continuing on down my back. And I think probably for the rest of my life I'll be getting tattooed. It's just something that person has a lot of meaning for me and I've been attracted to since I was young. So um, we saw a big emergence of tattoo in this culture in the last you know a couple of decades and I think that will taper back off but for certain people some people go get tattoos other people are tattooed people and I'm a tattooed person so it's a path for me right on <laughs> so that was awesome and um, I've been doing a lot of experimenting with the deer antler extract I mean I've been taking a lot of it probably a couple times a day that stuff is powerful and you only need a little bit I've had so much energy, I guess you can call it jing energy, that it's absolutely profound. I mean, you can even ask Angela about this one. She doesn't really want to get involved in that aspect of what has happened to me. But maybe, um, moms, cover your children's ears. Uh, yeah, it does what it says it can do, and I just can't, I just can't do it, I can't state it. But yeah, so the very powerful stuff. That a jar of that will last a very long time. You only need a bit of it, and I've been getting profound results on all levels. So, also in addition just to experimenting with this and a few other supplements, I've only been eating once a day for about a month since I've got those colonics. I've had so much energy, and I just lost the cravings and desire for a lot of food. However, I have had a little bit of an addiction of the figs. And um, they are at Whole Foods right now, two packages for $6. And um, here's a little clip of me renegating the ripest figs that you can possibly imagine at Whole Foods. Check it out. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show and I've got Goddess Angela Stoked with her $80 headband on. Awesome. Now, and we are in Whole Foods and I kind of feel like this is like a stressful moment for me right now because they've got figs. And, um, you know, when you open one of these packs of figs, like, some of them are hard as a rock and then, like, some are just really ripe and they're amazing. Mm -hmm. So, here I am. I kind of, like, re I'm renegating. I, I go into, like, I, t I take them in the basket here and then I, I open them hoping no produce manager sees me, and I swap them around just so I get a perfectly ripe canister of figs. No? No. I shouldn't be doing this, should I? Yeah, and they're amazing. So, I'm gonna continue doing this renegading, and I thought I'd share that with you guys on what you could possibly do at your Whole Foods. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, everybody. I mean, every time I see Kevin Gianni, He's like, okay, I'm, I just don't eat tahini anymore, or I don't eat avocados anymore. It's kind of funny. And now I know what he's talking about because I'm like on the verge of never being able to eat a fig again in the rest of my life. God. So um, we are driving to Las Vegas, Nevada now, and we'll be there in five hours. And we've got a special surprise for you tomorrow. So we've got... Angela Sex Monarch. And Matt Monarch. And we'll see you tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV. Show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.